critical thinking, critical studies, critical understanding of some issue, some topic to write the answer for that in your assignment critically. When you want to study uh, something critically, you have to start with the description part of it. You have to know the clear description of what this question is about, what this issue or problem is about. So you have to answer uh, what, when, who, where did that happen? Those kind of things. What happened? When did that happen? Who is involved in? Where did that happen? If you answer all these questions, you will have a clear description of, about what this issue is all about. Then after that, you will be moving slightly to the analysis part where you will be analyzing this description, asking questions like why did that happen? Why is it happening? And how did that happen? And if that happens, what is the problem of it? You understand all these things. This is what we are calling analyzing analysis. Then after that, you'll be slightly moving towards the evaluation part where you would find out something. Okay, so what? What can we do about this? What can we do to solve this? How can we benefit out of this? And what is next? If you do this, we call this evaluation. So your studies starts from the description. When you have the description about what you really want to answer, you move to the analysis part. When you analyze that, you may evaluate that as well, depending on your question. Now, let's have an understanding of what description is all about. Let me take an example. If it is about pandemic, we have to clearly uh, describe what pandemic is about. So what this disease is about and who is involved in, what is the impact of this, how are this uh, infection is getting uh, transferred to the others and what is the symptoms of that, how many people are dying, how many are recovering and how this is getting transferred to each other. These are the information would describe about what this pandemic is all about. Now let's move to the analysis part with the same example pandemic. Here you have to answer the question why. Why this pandemic is happening? Why this is so difficult for people? Why China cannot solve this problem? Why people are dying? Why people are struggling? Why people are having breathing problem? If you answer all these questions, you are analyzing why this is happening. Now, let's move to the final part of your critical thinking, which is evaluation. Let me take the same example here. In this part, you have to uh, write the judgments of the impact of this pandemic in humans, in societies, in countries, in business, in whatever it is relevant to your question. And you have to compare the impact of this one with the other uh, impacts of uh, different diseases and what is happening in China, what is happening in India, what is happening here in the UK and how do we solve this and you can go for some comparison and you can evaluate the impact of this disease in different countries. When you do this, this is what we call evaluation. All right, now I have to share one more main important uh, information here. When your question is description, describe the impact of COVID, you have to only do the description part you never touch the analysis or the evaluation part if that question asks you to do the analysis part you do both description and the analysis so your answer is a little bit extended here and if your question asks you to evaluate the impact of covid you have to write description analysis and the evaluation part as well so you will have a in-depth full answer there so you got to be careful about these command words, analyze, describe, analyze, evaluation. Based on that, the in-depthness of your answer will vary.